What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're looking at tech for GoPro accessories. Now you may have seen I did a video about a month ago on the best GoPro accessories and that video did really, really well. You guys seem to like it and it, it trended and got quite a lot of views. Now an amazing company called Ulanzi reached out and said, hey listen, we think we make pretty good accessories too, would you like to have a look? And of course I said yes. The stuff they make and, and the stuff they provide is, is top notch. Now we've got a whole suite of stuff to look at here today. We've got the metal cage for the GoPro 9. We've got their VL30 spotlight. We've got the interchangeable battery door. We've got a really cool silicon cover. So let's jump in and let's look at it all. So the first one I look at today is the battery door cover. I know that seems really, really small and you go, why do I need that? It comes with one. I'll tell you straight away, this adds so many cool little benefits onto your GoPro. So when you get your GoPro like this, this is your GoPro 9, this is your battery door here, okay? And it's just, it's just a straight bit of plastic. Now, if you want to live stream with this, it will run out of power and you'll need to have the battery door open or removed. What this door does, let me just put it on for you. I'll tell you right now, the original door is very hard to get off sometimes. So this Ulanzi clip here, it has a three quarter thread or a tripod mount, a cold shoe mount, and it also has a hole at the bottom here. So you can actually charge your GoPro whilst you're using it. It clicks on there absolutely perfectly just like it was made for it, as this was. And this is dirt cheap. I'll put all the prices on the screen in US dollars so you can see it. And this thing is so much easier to open and close than the original. Now, obviously it's not waterproof to take that into account, but if you're gonna be live streaming or you wanna have constant power going to that, or you wanna attach a light or a microphone, this is awesome. Okay, the next accessory we're gonna look at is the VL30 light. Now again, this is in direct competition with GoPro's um, Media Mod Light, whatever you want to call it. Now this one is remarkably bigger. As you can see there, there's a side by side. That's GoPro, that's Ulanzi's. They both have four light modes. They both come with a diffuser. This one's waterproof, this one isn't. Both charge with USB-C. What I really like about the Ulanzi one is obviously it's got the cold shoe mount, so you can mount it onto your media mod or onto your side door as we spoke about. That tightens on, so that's the side door off the GoPro. It also has a tripod screw. So you can mount that on there if you want to set up an additional light. Put it over there, add a shot, there we go. And instantly we've now got that light coming in on the tripod. We don't need a cold shoe to mount it. I think that's pretty cool. Now the big kicker for this, the reason why I love this so much, is the price. This thing, if you can believe it, is under 15 bucks. I believe it's $12.99 US right now, compared to the GoPro one, which is $50. $13, $50. And this even has, let me just turn on, if you can see there, it has a power indicator. So you can actually see how much battery you've got remain on it. This one does not have a power indicator. Okay, so now let's look at both lights in operation. We'll start with the GoPro. This is GoPro in low, medium, high, and SOS. I don't know why you'd need that ever. Let's, let's look at that again. Okay, there's low, medium, pretty bright and high. Obviously you can pull it back and get a really nice glow on it. Now let's look at the Ulanzi's one. Low, medium, high, extra high. So this has four actual light modes plus the SOS. So you, it's just, a, for me it's a no-brainer. $13 or $12.99, this is an absolute no-brainer. Links for all these products are down below. The next big one we want to look at, guys, and this one here is really cool. Ulanzi do this amazing little silicon case. Now, GoPro do one like this as well. It's almost identical. Comes with a lanyard and a silicon cover. Now, this just goes in like this. You stretch it over. Nothing really to it. Make it fit. 
And once that's on, it fits like a glove. Like a glove. But what this one has, which is extra, again, you lens are going a little bit further. It comes with a lens, a suction cap lens cover. So you put that on there and it's on. It doesn't, it's not gonna fall off because it's actually got a suction cap in there. Look at that. Now I'm gonna peel it off. That's so cool. And just to compare prices with GoPro again, the GoPro version of this is $19.99, so let's call it 20 bucks. Ulanzi's $7.99. And honestly, it's perfect. And the last accessory we're gonna look at today is Ulanzi's latest upgraded metal cage, the G914. Now this thing is some serious kit. It feels like extreme quality and it's got some really cool features that you wouldn't automatically think about when you think about a GoPro cage. Now straight away I am going to compare it to the media mod because I bought the media mod so I could mount an external microphone because when I first got this the mic adapter from the G GoPro 8 was not working so I bought this so I could mount my Rode wireless on it. Now this is a pain Every time you want to open it, there's, there's a couple of faults. First of all, the media mod uses the feet of the GoPro. So every time you want to change your SD card or change your battery, you have to disconnect your camera from your stick, flick the feet in, open it up, pull it out, access your stuff, put it back in, flick the feet out, which are very, very hard to do. Really, really annoying. It's, it's well made and obviously it's got the built-in shotgun microphone, but super annoying. Now, what Ulanzi have done is pretty awesome. So here is their metal cage. Now, this is the upgraded one, it's very good quality. Now straight away, it's got the built-in GoPro connectors here, so you don't use the connectors on the camera. So straight away, that's a massive win. Secondly, you don't slide it in the side, you use this nice clip here, and it's all spring loaded. You get your GoPro. Now, to put it in, it's very, very snug. So you push that in there. You open the side door, okay? Close up the back door, close up the side door, and now you're ready to rock and roll. Now, this will hold the max lens mod whilst it's fitted as well. Straight away, you've just got so many options here. You've got a cold shoe mount, cold shoe mount. You've got tripod screws and connectors up here. Cold, cold, cold shoe mount here. You've got the mic adapter connector here. So you can put this in here. You can loosen this off. You can get your GoPro mic adapter, put this in, and plug it straight into this hole here, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, this is a very, very well thought out piece of kit. But here's the kicker. Here's why I really like it. If you're shooting and you want to change out your SD card or even change out your battery, you flick out the side door and instantly you can access your battery and your SD card. No need to remove the camera, no need to flick the feet out because you're not using the camera's feet. You're just good to go straight away. Pretty incredible. Guys, that's the end of the video. I said it would be a really short one. I highly recommend this stuff. I've been using this now for two weeks. I've used it on two of my videos, and it's just, it's saved me so much time out in the field when I've been changing batteries, changing SD cards. It's so much easier to use, so much easier to mount. Look, I can get in there, I can pull my battery out, put it back in, boom, bang, boom, audio on. I can mount my light up here. Or if I want extra light or extra sound, the light has got a cold shoe mount on top of it. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, all the links for these are down in the description below. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the comment section. If you've liked this content, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you on the next video.